Traditionally, garlic has been recommended to help reduce the high cholesterol levels and high blood pressure. But how about blood sugar and diabetes control? Does it have any role? Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist who specializes in hormones and diabetes management. I practice in Florida but help people with diabetes all over the world via this YouTube channel. Before we dive into this serious stuff, let me tell you a few fun facts. Garlic was used and it was called a Russian penicillin, given to soldiers in World War II as medicine. 90% of all the garlic that is produced in the United States come from California and the rest of the world basically buys garlic from China. A new study has found that consuming garlic could actually reduce the blood sugar levels in people suffering from type 2 diabetes and offer health benefits in the treatment of this metabolic condition. So, garlic can provide a range of benefits for people in addition to their usual treatments that people get like with insulin or diet or other medications. So, we know that the garlic contains more than 400 chemical components that are helpful. Many can help prevent and treat a diverse range of health problems. Those compounds in garlic help raise insulin levels in the body and the blood by preventing the liver's inactivation of insulin. So as a result, more insulin becomes available in the body to help lower the blood sugars. So research also found that the moderate amounts of garlic could actually potentially stop or lower the effects of some diabetes complications, such as like retinopathy, neuropathy, nephropathy. Garlic may even help fight infections, reduce bad cholesterol, and improve blood flow. A study even published like many years ago I recently came across showed that the raw garlic might actually help reduce blood sugar levels as well as reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. This is important because diabetes increases a person's risk of atherosclerosis related inflammation and heart attacks and stroke etc up to four times. So not everybody is a fan of garlic, I know that. So how to eat them without having to deal with its smell? Oh, actually I hate it. <laughs> if you don't mind the taste and the smell, a couple of finely chopped garlic cloves to your salads or any dish you like Go ahead and add them on, go ahead. As long as you're happy, your wife is happy, your husband is happy, no problem. There isn't a standard dosage for eating garlic, so feel free to add garlic so whenever to any recipe or snack allows. Now, if you prefer a less intense odor and taste, look for garlic greens, which are like young plants or garlic scapes that are curly shoots that appear as the plant matures. They're available at the farmers markets and they're in local produce stores or you know they're mostly available during the spring season. So these last two things that I said has milder flavor and you can chop them, mix them in salads and put in the dips and savory spreads, whatever you like. It is recommended that you let the chopped garlic actually sit for around five minutes to allow the allicin, one of the herbs main component to be it is in the highest concentration and known to be very helpful, that enhances the potential health benefit of garlic. So, guys, I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to watch the hundreds of other diabetes or insulin resistance videos we have in this channel. All right, guys, thumbs up. See you in the next video. Hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.